So let's get started into this, well it's probably going to be a lengthy video because it is a favourite. <laughs> First products I have been loving this month come from this brand, which is called Ginger and Co. These products are amazing. If you have not tried these, you need to get them into your life. I love the Daily Body Lotion, which is what I've been using, and I've nearly used it all up in the whole month of March because I'm that obsessed with it. They smell amazing, like so amazing. I am really, really, really in love with these. And then I got the hand cream, which is huge. Um, the last thing I got was the Creamy Body Moisture. Is that a creamy body moisturizer? Oh, it's a body wash, sorry. Because I was thinking, because I was using one of these in the shower. So <laughs> hopefully one was a body wash. I'm obsessed. Guys, go and follow these on Twitter because they have so many amazing products. Problem is, they're very hard to find. Now the pharmacy that I work in, Wheelands Pharmacy, sell them, which is amazing. So I will be stocking up in them. But guys, if you do see Ginger & Co anywhere, they're very inexpensive. Pick them up. I have been loving a lot of lip products this month because come on it's me and lip products are my vice. The two that I have been loving the most are Velveteddy and Blankety. Blankety is on my lips right now. So that is Velveteddy, old favourite Velveteddy. That has been impossible to get but apparently it is back in stock. For those of you who want to get it I bought it in Grafton Street, Brent Thomas which is my Brent Thomas that I always go to because it's my favourite. Blankety is a much more nude colour as you can see it's on my lips there. I have wear a lip liner on with it so it looks slightly different. These two are fond favourites of mine this month and I can't put them down. Another huge favourite of mine this month has been my Makeup Forever. This is my Aqua Lip Pencil in 12C and it is this gorgeous plummy dark gorgeous vampy colour. Reminds me a lot of Night Moth from MAC but I have been using it as a base for eyeshadow. I use it today for my base for sketch eyeshadow and I am in love with this for that technique. It just sets down a gorgeous pinky purple base and makes any purpley eyeshadow that you put on top just you know bam wow into your face. I absolutely adore this. I love to put it on my waterline as well and I suppose you could use it as a lip liner since that's its main purpose but I find so many other different uses for it and I have been using this all month long. Oh, I just cannot take my hands off it. I am in love with this. Final lip product this month is from Me Now Cosmetics and I did do a whole video on this and how it is so like cashmere velveteen from Lime Crime. So I think most people on YouTube and in the wide world are boycotting Lime Crime. If you are not sure why, please check out the internet and it will give you much more information than I can supply. It looks like Lime Crime's cashmere which everybody goes crazy for. That's it there and I have been wearing it to death. It smells amazing. I did get my hands on Lime Crime's cashmere. I didn't buy it from Lime Crime, just so you're aware. But I did buy it just because I was intrigued, I'm going to say. So I did buy it from eBay, but I have been finding that I'm picking this one up a little bit more. I love the smell of it. I love the formulation of it. I find because it's so cheap, I don't really, you know, not that I don't care about it, but I just pop it in my bag and I'm good to go. This cost me less than two euro. If you want to see the video, I will link it down below. Guys, this little device. Oh, this has been my holy grail device in the whole of March. You're probably looking at this wondering what on earth this is. But this is a lip plumper. You put it over your lip and you suck. I'm not going to do it right now. I have lipstick on. I don't really want to get it all over the inside of this. I use this every single day without fail and it makes my lips look really full. The technique that you do is you literally put it around your lips and you suck and it brings the blood to your lips and just makes them look plumper. The effects I get for this are about six hours. Bring this around in my bag if I want to you know, inflate my lips later on in the day. But I absolutely love it. I will have a video coming up on it quite soon. But anyway, I love this guy. Amazing. Carry him everywhere. Wait for the video on him and you will just see how amazing he is. Now the video I did do on this, I had only just opened them. So it was like a first impression. So I will be doing a more detailed how to use them video down the line as well. My next product I've been loving is these guys. These are tattoos because I'm channeling my inner child. I'm going back to the 90s and I was born in the 90s. So I'm going to you know a veil of things that were from the 90s like fake tattoos these have kind of gold on them and they're really cool I've been wearing these a lot I love to wear them with like short tops and then you just kind of put one around the top of your arm or kind of put them on your wrists and stuff I've not on me today but they're so easy to use same as the old school tattoos you just add them onto the area you want to tattoo and then you just put water on the back so because they're like gold and iridescent they look amazing with a tan or fake tan or badly faked tan as you can see <laughs> guys I went cray cray in Lush recently I bought so 
so much stuff. I'm not gonna do a haul because I've used some of it. The bath bombs have been thrown into the bath. The next time I do such like a huge gathering of stuff, I will do a haul video. First thing I've been loving is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub, guys. This is amazing. And as you can see, I have used quite a bit of it. It smells like lemon. Lemonade is what I get from this. And holidays. And I want to eat it. You probably could because it is from Lush. I don't think it tastes the nicest though because it is salt. I use this as an exfoliator on my body. And I also have used this on my face twice to kind of remove any dead skin cells. And it just makes my skin like radiate from the inside. I absolutely love this product. I'm a really big fan of it. And I'll definitely be repurchasing it when it's gone because I am just so obsessed. I cannot put it down. The next thing I got from Lush that I was loving was this gre grease lightening spot treatment. I have been suffering so bad lately with my skin. I don't know what is going on. And I'm not getting them around my chin, so it's not hormonal, which is where I'd usually get them. I'm getting things like on my cheek. I have one right here. I'm getting them in the middle of my forehead. I'm getting them like around my jawline. I haven't been eating any different. I haven't been using any different products, but my skin has been rubbish and it has not been this bad since I think I was about 13. This grease lightening spot treatment has been a holy grail lifesaver for me. I just literally dab it on the area and it just clears it all up for me. The next morning it's all dry. The spot is still there but it has become dry so you know it's going to eventually fall off itself. <laughs> That's it's really weird but you know what I mean. It's dried up. It's whizzled up. There's nothing left in it. It's not one of those crazy angry things on your face that just wants to attack everybody but this has been a total lifesaver for me for the month of March in getting rid of the whatever the hell's going on with my skin. I'm going back to my teen years. The mask of Magnum Inti. Ha. I've had this guy a few times actually. I recently started to love it again. I remember the first time I had this I let it dry up. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think I loved it as much the first time because I was more into the peel off masks at the time and something like this was too high maintenance for me. Reminds me of the Julep mint mask. Remember that like everybody used to love that back in the early days of YouTube. It smells really refreshing when you have it on your face. You feel instantly relaxed because the, the mint in it is real calming and stuff like that. I actually absolutely love this. You can use it on your body as well but I just stick with the face. That's why I got the small one. I don't want a repeat of what happened the last time and it drying up. So I always go with the small products just in case I don't like them. Then if I do like them I go for the big size. And the last product I have been loving for the month of March is a breath of fresh air. Now I'm nearly out of this. I loved it that much. It's a toner and I use it after I cleanse my face and it works a treat. So it's not anything like amazing and um, what it says is it's a sea breeze captured in a bottle and refreshing spray to tide you over. Great for use of all times throughout the day as a pick me up for skin and mind. It is a toning water but you can use it throughout the day just to kind of like if you feel like a pick me up or something like that. I only use it in the morning and the night. I do find it is amazing but I have used an awful amount of it because I am using it twice a day and it's kind of a smaller one I will definitely be buying the full size there's definitely aloe vera in this I can smell aloe vera straight away from it I think there is a well it says there's aloe vera on the back so I know my smells. I absolutely adore this and like I said, I would definitely be repurchasing it. It was fabulous. I wanna throw in one non-beauty product and these are another thing I have been addicted to in March and these are the Werther's Originals. These are old school, man. I remember having these when I lived in Dundalk and I used to literally keep them in my drawer, my sock drawer, and I would pick at them. I was probably only like a little kid, like probably about six. I was a strange child. And the second I taste where there's originals, they just remind me of being a child straight away. I just think they are the most delicious candy butter sweets ever. Mm. If you've never tried where there's originals, you are missing out. They are amazing. So guys, I'm gonna go and enjoy my whole pack of where there's originals. So I'm gonna go and edit a couple of videos for you guys, get them up this week, and I'll talk to you later then. Bye!